Hey guys, short video here. I'm just back from the Kutztown Radio Show and I got a gigantic amount of stuff. I'll be making a video soon about all the tubes that I bought. Uh, interesting ones. Yeah, the, the junk, my, my, I should say my van was stuffed to the gills. Uh, there was so much free stuff to take at the club table afterwards or $5 boxes of junk. Yeah, none of it's really worth showing, but one of the, I just filled up with that stuff. But I will make a video about the tubes. Now, some of that junk was uh, a bunch of cheap AM, FM clock radios, probably from the 70s and 80s. Someone just dumped tons of them there. And a bunch of them were broken. So I took a few to see what they see what they do did. And, um, well, took started taking some of them apart, see what's in there. And I came across this very inter interesting digital clock. It's a Telecron. They made digital clocks for, I think, everyone <laughs> in the AM, FM clock radio uh, era. But this is a seven-segment display, but it's all mechanical. It's a mechanical uh, other than the motor, it's which is electrical, obviously, and the motor is unfortunately seized up. Probably why I was in the free pile. Um, completely mechanical seven-segment display system. And uh, I can demonstrate that right now. Now you'll have to excuse. The, the, the bulbs in this thing are... Yep, come on, balance. Uh, the bulbs are weird and busted, and I took off the, thing, the um, little thing there so you could... See it, the bulbs kind of hang right about here. But you can see it doesn't do a real great job, especially with my crappy backlight. But this is the time set here. And you can see, let's see if I can get this a little better. There, there we go. I can advance the clock. This is the time set. You can see it goes over to the next digit. And uh, it's a little jammed up there, but... It actually operates the seven segment, seven segment display mechanically. And uh, how that works, let me get the flashlight out there. It works by moving shutters. Let's see, let's, there we go. You can see how that, that bit is moving back and forth. Yeah, for some reason the minutes segment is not working as well. It's all seized up. But if you look down in there, you can see a little cam that moves that back and forth. And underneath all this is a little shutter. Actually, while I have the flashlight, well, maybe you can see a little better in there. It moves a little shutter around, blocking off certain segments. There's no electronics involved, just cams and levers. Let's see if I can get back. Whoa, come on, get back there. Yes, I'm using a, <laughs> an IBM uh, mass storage system thingy. Or, no, that's Photostore. But you can see, yeah, they kind of, sort of did an okay job with the seven segments. But yeah, you can see it, it rolls over into 10, and 11, and 12, and 1. Actually, yeah, that first digit seems to be the one that works the best. But yeah, this thing is, I can imagine these things were not very reliable because this thing just is, just, well, like I said, the one segment's all seized up. The others aren't, aren't too great either. You know, it's all cheap stuff in there. This is a cheap clock. You can see the, uh, the tag there. Can you see that tag there? Yep, good old, good old Telecron. Yeah, they made clocks, oh, cripes, from the 19-teens all the way into the 90s, I think. Um, yeah, so, you see there's the motor, like I said, it seems to be seized up. That may be the reason why this is all gummed up and not working properly. Anyway, fascinating mechanical device. So, no, this is not going in the junk pile. This is going in the neat stuff department. Alright, well, I hope you like this, this real quick video. And, uh, stay tuned. I will start to gathering, uh, all the, the tubes that I bought. And we'll do a tube rundown. All right. Bye now.